Hello, this is Jose. Here I am with this 2014 Audi A4. Today we're going to be installing a CarPlay system. This kit comes with a rear view camera, and that's the reason I chose this system. is from a car's gadget, and I chose it, I chose this one as I said because um, it comes with a rear view camera. All the wiring goes into the radio and into the ventilation system, so. Uh, you don't have to go crazy uh, doing any other wiring and that so it it's, it's seems like a very good system so that's what we're doing but the first thing we're going to do is disconnect that battery uh, we're going to be working around the airbags the one on the air pillar we're going to we're going to be uh, putting some wiring through there so it's better that we disconnect the battery anytime you're going to uh, go around the airbags is the best thing to do the, the safest thing to do is disconnect that battery and we're gonna be working with electronics in the car, so you don't want any shorts, you don't want to do anything that could damage your computer. So just disconnect that battery. You have to take the, the, the wheel out. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's totally worth it. So safety first, let's start. Okay, let's start. We're gonna take this, uh, this wheel out. And we're gonna disconnect the negative terminal. Here's where the positive terminal is, and this is where the negative terminal is. We're gonna be using a 10 millimeter to get this battery unplugged. So we're going to start with the installation. The kit comes with uh, a few tools that you need um, to remove the plastic trim, actually to remove everything, the radio, the, vent, the vents. So here is the, the module, is the whole system. Here are the tools that you need to, to, to get that, some trim tools. This is plastic here, you don't damage any of these. You still have to protect your car. Oh, by the way, you have to disconnect. Before you disconnect the battery, make sure your seats are pushed back. Both of them, because you're going to need space to work here by the glove compartment. And you're going to need space here between the steering wheel and you. So, here are some uh, special tools that you need for to remove the AMI from the glove compartment. Uh, it's neat that they give you these. Um, otherwise, you could, you know, try to pull it out with some pins or something you just have to put the pins in push the clips and pull the a the EMI out but these are these are great because you put this in and the EMI kind of locks on these and then you just put your fingers into these little rings and pull it out so great that they give you this oh here's the camera the camera with the handle so this you're gonna replace the one in the car Okay, the whole handle is new. You're gonna replace that. This is the wiring for the camera. You have to run this from the front all the way back. So, great. Main harness and all the other wiring. Okay, perfect. This is great. Antenna, all right. The antenna we're gonna see we're gonna put the antenna on the inside over here on this part but on the inside all right this is what uh, lets you connect or interconnect uh, your Apple play with the system in your car okay so be careful with these we'll go over these when the time comes but uh, be very careful this is another kind of little computer, it has a microchip. All right, let's, let's leave that here. As I said, you gotta protect your car, you gotta take it easy, don't rush. It's simple, it's not difficult. 
Pay attention to what you're doing. You protect your car at all times. All right. Protect everything around you. Um, so these guys from Cars Gadget have a video on these. And I like their video. Um, I just like doing my own videos. And also, um, there's a couple of things that they didn't mention, even though they have it on other videos. But I'm going to cover everything from, from here to the camera. They don't cover uh how to do the the camera a couple of parts on how to take these apart so but we're, we're going to include everything uh, they cover the steering wheel which is uh important i think and um they're right on that so let's start let's put some tape just as they do i like that idea okay we'll cover the steering wheel Make sure don't, we don't hurt the the material on the steering wheel while we're taking the radio out. With some extra just in case. There we go. That should be okay. Now let's start getting these things out. This is a manual transmission, so it's easy to move these around. I know my electronic brake is on. Uh, before I put the, the car on, uh, I took the battery out. So the uh, car has a brake. This uh, I can move around whichever way I want. So let's see. Let's get these bends out. Don't be afraid to pull. It'll be okay. All right. So they say not to disconnect this, but I think it's a good idea to just disconnect it. It's very easy and just make sure you put it back. Okay. Let's put these over here. Out of the way. Just take it easy. Don't scratch your car. All right, now with the air conditioning system, same thing. I'm gonna use this trim removal tool. Okay, here we go. No problem doing this, okay? Now we pull these red tabs. Hey, okay, there's some red tabs in here. Okay. We have to lift this up. Let me get a little close up. So you pull these tabs up. Okay. All right, once the red tabs are up, now you can pull the wiring off. All right, let me put the camera down. Let's do that. So let's pull these out now. This one and two. This is just a um, like a uh, wire tied to hold the wiring. So just gonna pull these out so we can put these out of the way. Maybe we can even, so we don't, we keep, uh, we maintain one of these original wire ties. Maybe this can go side on the side. Well, we see. Let's see if we can just keep these or we'll definitely get it out. Depends on how, 
Oh, it's not too bad, so you can hang around here. We'll save one Audi wire tie. So later on when we connect this, we're gonna have uh, another wire. And this is where our rear view camera interconnects to. We were here and there, but this, we're, we're gonna get some wiring in there that's gonna connect. Instead of this tag, it's gonna go here. So we're gonna connect that wire here and we're gonna connect it the other side of that wire to this. So let's wait, let's wait and see. Now the radio can come out. The radio has four screws. It's one, two, three, four, and they're eight millimeters. Okay, so let's get that out. the The radio has a, the radio has a lot of tough edges, so we got an eight millimeter to remove that, and we're gonna use the same eight millimeter to remove some other bolts in the glove compartment. But uh, by the way, it's ten bolts that we have to remove over there. So if you want, you could use a hand tool. If you want, you could use a power tool completely up to you be very gentle putting these things away you don't want to scratch anything all right that's it the radio is loose let's get it out Okay, here's our main harness. This is uh, one of the big wires you got here, the big squares. So we're gonna connect the, that wire harness into one side of these, and the other side is gonna go into the radio. Or well, this this side will go into the radio. That's this is a male side, and this female side is where that piece is coming into. This this piece right here. All right, so let's get that out and show you got you have this piece here okay that has that holds these in place the same thing in there and the same thing in here all right Here's the main harness. As I said, look, this is the female connector. It's gonna go right in there. Same way you came out of the radio. But we'll do that later on when we put all the wiring in. Right now we're disconnecting everything. Okay, the radio is out. Please be careful with this when you're pulling out. Definitely a good idea to cover your steering wheel, okay? While you're maneuvering this, and this also your stick. You could hurt the, the materials on it. So we'll put the radio on the side for a minute. I'll put the radio on the side for a minute. I'm gonna show you this. All these conductors have little clips, so you have to make sure you, you push them okay push the little clips to pull them out okay all of them have little clips to pull them out this one also the clip to pull it out and same with the wiring we're gonna have another one to connect this one to go into another wiring to connect into here and then another one into the radio okay this is all our wiring in here While I'm here, I can also work on 
installing the interface with our radio. Okay, so let's get this connected. This is a little tedious. You have to be careful. You have to do it softly. Uh, it's not that bad, but you just have to pay attention to what you're doing. Okay. Now the radio right in on the bottom in front has these uh, screws. Okay. You're going to take these screws out and we're going to use those to hold the plate in place. And we're going to take this metal plate out so we can uh, disconnect the electrical connector just like this one. Okay. This looks like a piece of tape. This is the wiring. And there is is a lot of wires going through. So we're gonna connect one of these. We're, we're gonna disconnect the one in the radio first, the one that's right here. We're gonna disconnect it. We're gonna connect one of these, okay, and go to the plate. And then that uh, the one from the radio is going into the one that's in the radio that we disconnect is going into our plate, okay. So let's do that. Very small screws, be careful where you put them. Now we gotta open this little gate, but we have to break this seal. I guess the warranty won't cover these anymore. But it's a 2014. Car's 10 years old. I don't think we have to worry about that anymore. So we put that plate on the side. See, it doesn't it just goes in? Okay, it doesn't get tied in with anything. It doesn't have a screw or anything like that, you just push it in place. Okay. See that little connector there? This is with this one is the same thing. And it's nice that they give you two. I guess they know you can mess this up. But we're gonna do everything possible to do it just once. Now we're gonna pull that out, right? That connector is this is this is uh, connected right in the bottom like this. Alright, well actually like this. Same kind of wiring. It's connected in there like that. So we gotta pull these out. Okay. See those connections it has? Almost like the iPhone charger. If you have an iPhone you see on your charger that it has little connections like that little metal pieces so that's what's gonna go in there let's get this one out first so one of these is gonna make your life easy okay you have one of these pick tools just be careful with your leather it's better to put it in the car on the carpet and look for it so now we're gonna pull that out Okay, so let's put it to the front. All right, we're here. We got it. Now we gotta pull it out. So with the help of of this pick tool, all right, we're gonna pull it up. He's out. All right, came out easy. Going in, it's not going to be that easy, but we're going to do our best, and it's going to work. So the blue side towards us, same thing with this one, the blue side is going to be towards us, okay? And then we're going to pull it in. So see how this one is kind of bent a little bit, all right? It's like in an angle, all right? We're going to do the same type of thing so we can connect this one. 
with this and like I said the blue is gonna be towards you so we're gonna bend this a little bit back just a little don't don't go too crazy on it all right so it, can, it has a little bit of it let an L shape and the blue part by the way is a little hard so when you push this in with your finger okay you're gonna you're gonna have some um, some to to work with let's see closer so you can see all right that's it click then all right it's already in that's all has, that you have to do. There's enough space for you to put your entire finger in there. It doesn't matter how big your hands are, how big you I have some pretty thick fingers and they fit in there nicely and, and you can push that in place. It's, it's on. All right, now we're gonna connect it to the plate. Here's our plate. So this has some uh, security tabs on them, okay. So you pull these tabs and these are going to help it go stay in place. You pull them out. See the black tabs? See it down? It moves up and down these little black tabs. So we're going to connect them there. Okay. So this plate's going to go like this. It's going to go down like that. Okay with those down connect the, the existing wire wires or connector or it looks like a tape into our new into our plate at the top one if it's facing down make sure the black tab stays up Okay, we're in with the top. All right, and now we go with the bottom. You can push these in a little bit, so it's not just hanging. And we put it in place. This one is easier. It's outside. So just pull it in. It fits right in there. It's perfect size. So when you pull it in, it's gonna it's gonna go exactly where it has to go push the pins down and that'll be holding it in place all right that's it we're connected we just have to put the screws back okay so now we're gonna secure our plate with the little screws Okay, we're ready with the radio. So now we can put this aside 
and work now on the wall comp on the glove compartment take take that out so we could pass the wiring through we can have uh, we have to run the, the camera wire from here all the way to the back I'll show you we will we'll go um, under the carpet and all the way back let's put this to the back okay so now we're ready to um, remove the glove compartment we have to open this uh, trim over here and we have to get a bolt out of here and then um, we have some more bolts in the glove compartment some uh, we have five I believe here one let's see one two three there's one in the back and there's also one behind or really on top of the AMI so we have to pull these out and we'll use the tool that we got in the kit You're gonna need a little extension for the one in the back. Not as long as these, but I just wanna use my power tools so it could go faster. If you have just a hand tool, all you need is one extension and that'll do it. Okay, so now we have all the screws out from the top, one from the side. We gotta go and get that EMI out, AMI. So, let's get the tool. Well, it's two little tools. You have to use the same. Here it is. Okay, there's two openings right here on the AMI. Let's see if we can get just a little closer. So you can see. All right, you see the openings there. So you, you put this in facing towards each other all right you're gonna hear it click okay both of them click now you're gonna pull this EMI out there we go okay just like any connector it has a clip on top you push that in and pull it and it's get this EMI in place so look at this this is what you unlocking all right with these little tools it's great that they, they gave you this to make it easy it comes with the kit but this is what you're doing you're just pushing this in this is what's holding this in place okay you're pushing this in so that so that this can come out push it in so it can come out on both sides. All right. Let's keep going. Now you're going to see a bolt up here somewhere. Okay. Here it is. Okay. Two, four, six. You have six screws, one from here, five from in here. We have two more here on the bottom. Let's see. One on each side, right here and right here. Okay, right in the bottom. It's a little difficult to show that, but you'll see them, you'll feel it. You just know that there's two screws down here. I'm not even looking at it. I'm just going by feel. All right. What else is holding this in place? Oh, I have one more here. I didn't take that out. Oh. Two more. I got two more in here. There it is. Uh 
one. Okay, we don't need to disconnect anything else in here. Okay, this is uh, the lights and, and the valet switch, but we'll just leave this here in place. All right. A little bit of of a trim in the bottom so we can pull that out just pop it out okay forgot about that one should be out of the way now everything goes through here all the wiring is going to come right there so we don't have enough space here's where the antenna is going to go we have enough space to put that in there and we're good Okay, let's uh, connect the, the microphone so that we can bring it down through the A-pillar and we go down here into the glove compartment, okay? So, for the glove compartment, for the microphone, we have to connect it up here. There was a microphone already here, but we're going to put a second microphone. For this system, you need that second microphone, so we're going to pop this out. We should have a screw here another eight millimeter somewhere yep right there no it's not an eight millimeters uh that's a t20 i believe so we get these out with a t20 pull these down and then we'll get the the microphone connected in there so here's my mic here it is and uh, here's the mic cable. All right, we have to run this all the way through. Okay. So let's get a T20, put this in. We're gonna have to tie this up, maybe electrical tape or a wire tie up there. So let's see. So here we have a, bit, a little better view of what's going to happen here. Uh, we have a T20 they set up here. We're going to get that out. All right. Be careful where you put this. Very pointy. All right. Place them down softly if you're not putting them on the carpet. All my heavy tools I put on my carpet. So now we can pull these, but we should be able to pull these. There we go. Okay. So we have a microphone up here. Okay. And we're gonna put our new microphone right next to it. There's some wiring right there. So we're gonna put this microphone in here, facing down, of course. gonna come right out of here then the sound okay it's nice and tight in there okay so let's let's put a wire tie on it so we don't lose it there's some wiring right next to it so you could attach it to that go and now for the wiring so
you have these on one side of the wire and you have these on the other side okay this is gonna go down and into the radio compartment under the past the glove compartment into the radio so that you connect it there's a connection on the main wiring we'll see that later but that this is what connects there okay that goes to that connection and here's where we're going to connect our microphone so let's see all right microphone is connected and now we have to there's there's space right through here you'll be able to go with the wiring around that window trim or that windshield trim all right let's push this wire through go through there so we can close these up let's go and we go the same way we put we, we took it out okay this side first put it in and then push this back all right let's put our screw on it okay now we're just gonna push the wiring in right up there okay when we come up to the corner we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go behind the airbag that's why I was saying we need to disconnect that power disconnect that battery so let's get let's pop this airbag tag out okay this plastic trim so Let's get that out. Okay. And you just force this, force this in, it'll pop out. All right, after we pop these out, we have uh, a T20 in there that we have to pull out. Don't put it all the way. You stick out a little bit so you can have some, some play here. It came all the way out, so just be careful, don't drop it. Even if you drop, it's not a big deal, but. Okay, once you took out the, the T20, you're gonna pull this back a little, the trim. You have some play. Now we can fish this through the back, okay, behind the airbag. Don't put it in front, that is very dangerous you don't want to put anything in front of your airbags okay so let's go behind it and then we're going to pull it through the side okay let's get a little close up in here right in here okay we went behind this is where our cable is so we're pulling it out of there all right let's put this down and keep going All right, so now we have this here. We take this cable in there. It's all the way through. This is done. You don't see this wire here. 
If you want, you can use your trim removal tool to push that wire in a little, even though it's already in, just to make sure. If you want, you could look outside your window. You don't see anything. I don't feel anything. So now that the wire is down, we can go all the way down. Okay. Push it all the way down and go into our okay go down in here so we gotta fish it all the way in here again let's move this out so you can see pull this little piece of trim out from behind the rubber pops right out and then you fish the wire right through there we're gonna fish the wire right through here so we can go into the glove compartment all right let's put it in there so let's fish that through into our glove compartment. All right behind this. all tucked in there put this trim back okay you don't see anything well we're gonna have to go down okay you don't see anything let's put this back let's put the a pillar back same way we took it out we use our t20 to go in there Make sure our wire is in. And let's push this all back. And make sure that wire is loose, it's not attached to anything, it's not in the middle of the screw. And uh, that's it, we're golden. Okay, so let's put our microphone cable, let's put it through. And it's coming into the radio compartment, okay? Here's, here it is, like I said. This is going to be connected into the main uh, wiring uh, that was provided with the kit. It has a little connection just for the microphone. So, let's put that aside. We can see what we can do this later. Maybe all the wiring will use some wire ties, tuck it in somewhere so it's out of the way. And we don't pull it when the next time this has to be pulled out for some reason or when the filter has to be pulled out so we have to put everything neat in there but uh, let's continue let's do let's start with the wiring uh, let's see what do we have here So we put these connectors in. All right, this is gonna go, this is LVD, um, the LVDS wiring. This is gonna go into our, our, module so we go from the glove compartment from the radio compartment into the glove compartment same place where we put the the microphone wire in so it goes right there okay so this is where we're going to connect the 
wire that uh, I was telling you before. Okay, from the from the radio compartment. Okay, it goes right here, and then this one instead of going into the radio, we're gonna connect the other one, the other side. So we're gonna put this in there. Okay, we have this. Let's undo our main harness so we can start connecting stuff. Like I said, the main harness is going to go in there. The, the uh, female connector is going to go into the, the harness that is in there. That's a male connector. So we have our females going to go in there. And then uh, the other male connector is going to go into the radio. Okay, we got a little better view of what's happening right here. So the main uh, wiring harness is going to go uh, right here. This is our the harness that was connected to the radio. We're going to connect it into this main wiring harness and this will go to the radio. Okay, so these two look alike, except for the colors, but they're exactly the same okay this was on the radio now this is going on the radio now this one is going into this one and here's where our microphone connection is okay everything is there everything else goes in there this will connect to the system okay let's get started so this one from the radio that's going into uh the, the one that we fished through okay let's connect this one and connect in here Okay, we know the other side is going into the radio. That's right there. Okay, these are all from the radio. Let's do. Let's pass this ground through. Let's put this ground through the back to the other side. We'll figure that out on the other side. Okay. The can connection. This will. This will go. Will connect into the system and 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 send all the information through so that has to go through the back into the other compartment okay the main wiring harness let's connect that and tight so let's put this back radio 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 okay so here's our connection for the vent system air conditioning system we just put that in there and push the clip down now we know that this is what's going into our radio our vent system okay we connected there this is what was connecting right here now it's connecting into the wiring harness and this provided wiring harness now is going into the vent system but let's leave that for for a minute okay yes so we have to go backwards of what we did before so now we have to go with the radio because that's what we took out last the radio then it was the ventilation system then the vents and we don't forget to connect the vents okay so let's see what else we have in the box that's all the wiring that goes in the back we have to connect the the backup camera let's see I think this kid even this kid even comes with a with the wiring for the front camera if I'm not mistaken. 